Morning guys. Morning. Welcome to another video. Currently we are in uh, central Changu in Bali. It's 11th of uh, January, I believe, right? <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic we received a lot of questions from you guys regarding a digital nomad lifestyle in bali how how good it is here um how many people are living here as a digital nomad and overall quality of uh, services and uh, co-working spaces and so on and so on so that's what we will be talking about today we're gonna try to cover few major questions you are guys asking us so we're going to talk about prices of uh, living as a digital nomad in internet. Bali internet we're going to be talking about internet uh, speeds of internet and uh, prices possibly as well we're going to talk about uh, weather in Bali uh, we're going to talk about uh, amount of uh, cafes and things to do in co-working places and also yeah things to do as well cost of living that's why I mentioned, mentioned yeah and uh, also we're gonna call, uh, talk about what insurance are we using as a digital nomads uh, and so on and so on so it's gonna be very interesting today so guys as you may have heard uh, Bali is uh, over the last five to ten years ranked as uh, one of the top spots for a digital nomads and there are reasons why sure. why is it so and we're gonna talk exactly about those reasons we're gonna mention also a few pros and few cons uh, of uh, living in a Bali as a digital nomad in 2021 Guys, so first thing we wanted to talk about is obviously internet, yeah. the most important thing for a digital nomad. Uh, we wanted to say uh, we spent uh, two months in uh, Albania and two months in Turkey before we arrived to so Bali. We could compare. Uh, we definitely yeah. can compare and uh, what we wanted to say is this is absolute heaven in terms of internet speed. For sure, uh, yeah. Just an example, most of the coffee shops, most of the hotels, uh, guest houses, no matter how does it look? Is it five star or one star? It does not really matter. Internet is absolutely exceptional. Yeah, always uh, good. Most of the speeds are 50 megabit plus. So download speed 50, 60, 70 megabit in the most of the places. So is upload speed, very important for our content creators, for our YouTubers as well. Uh, 60, 70 upload speed yeah. almost everywhere. So very stable, very fast internet. Now, now it takes us like few minutes to upload video. Yeah, no? literally video takes yeah. 10, 15 minutes and it's up yeah. absolutely heaven. I would give it 10 stars For sure. out of 10. Another very important thing we wanted to talk about is co-working spaces, obviously very popular uh, topic as well. Um, mm. From the place where we are sit seated right now, uh, if we just Google down, we're gonna see about probably 20 co-working spaces mm -hmm. in a just literally walking distance yeah. from where we are. We are uh, at the Bat Bolong, so very central. Uh, if you google it down, madness, i never seen anything like that. It's so many of them. Probably the highest density of co-working spaces on earth are in Changu, the place where we live. Uh, second most um, dense co-working spaces area would be probably Ubud. Many people are comparing uh, Changu and Ubud, where yeah. to go, where to stay. Co-working space is probably very similar level. Changu definitely wins in, in that aspect, but uh, if you are a person who enjoys a little bit of more ball lifestyle, a bit more yoga connected with the nature, you go it's to so Ubud, surfing, nightlife, definitely Changu. This topic has been discussed many times, difference between Changu and Ubud, so we won't be touching on that. Uh, uh, we prefer Changu because it's yeah. a bit more lively. Talking about the best uh, co-working spaces in Changu, uh, definitely number one dojo. Tropical Nomad. Tropical Nomad. Third one would be uh, Genesis Creative mm. Hub. It's yeah. a, a new one, and also there is a lot of new uh, co-working spaces created 
Over almost time, every yeah. every month something new yeah. is what is very cool as well is uh, these are not just the co-working spaces they are co-living spaces so you can actually live in there they offer a uh, gym membership as well they have the, a swimming pool yeah inside. the good example is a zinc cafe yeah zinc cafe yeah. literally next door it's a hotel it's a co-working space they have a gym they have a uh, Hotel. Yeah, it's basically a hotel. Yeah, you've got so everything. On. So they build in a, these kind of complexes all in. Absolutely amazing thing. Most of these uh, co-working spaces are working on uh, monthly, monthly membership. membership, as Alina said, that's correct. Also, you can purchase a day pass, you can purchase week pass, or you can purchase a packet of sessions. So one, five, ten, twenty sessions uh, or 20 hours it, yeah it's based on hours yeah, yeah. how so many hours you wanna yeah. use yeah it's your choice uh, most of the prices are uh one hour or one day pass is around 10 to 15 dollars it's not mm. the the cheapest but you do get quite a lot sometimes you get food as well and uh, entrance uh, to a swimming pool and so and so on uh, monthly passes unlimited monthly passes are around hundred fifty dollars it can go up to two hundred dollars but that will be like all-inclusive package uh, with many many benefits uh, you can get a uh, assigned table which will be just your private uh, locker it's like you are renting yeah. a little office little office yeah. literally for 150 to 200 dollars which is absolutely super cool mm. If you are a digital nomad, you probably have heard about uh, VPN, uh, which is a virtual private network. We are using ExpressVPN yeah. uh, just because it is the fastest, the most reliable, the best, <laughs> the best 100%. Also, we are affiliate, so we're going to leave a link in the description of this video. If you uh, are looking for a quality VPN, definitely check that out. Uh, yeah. It gives you security. And yeah, uh, all your data are absolutely encrypted. It's definitely reliable. and. At the moment, number one VPN in the world. One of the most important reasons why we decided to move into Changu, particularly, is uh, expat community living here. It's absolutely super large expat community, actually. And uh, why am I talking about that? Is um, if you are one of those people who are coming to the place not only to live, but you want to connect with other people, like-minded people. It's very easy here. Yeah. yeah. You also wanna, for example, you wanna start your uh, business in here or work. Uh, or find a partner for your business or just uh, become a part of some sort of team um, in terms of that yeah. uh, Chang'e is absolutely brilliant you can meet so many interesting people in here there is a lot of startups uh, being started over here and generally you can meet so many people who are looking for the same same things as you are uh, looking to connect and yeah, willing uh, to connect yeah, create and, something yeah. together so definitely very creative hub In terms of uh, healthcare in Bali, particularly healthcare in uh, Changu, uh, we haven't had experience personally with yeah. uh, local hospitals. Uh, however, after talking to many of our friends uh, who had experience, uh, after talking about a few expats around, um, we can say uh, it's, it's it's pretty good. It's on a pretty good level. Uh, sometimes uh, very equal with uh, Western um, countries. Uh, hospitals are apparently very clean. Uh, staff uh, speaks fluent English, um, they use modern technology, equipment, yeah. equipment as well. And uh, important thing is to, is to mention is you need to have a health, health insurance. insurance. That leads us to another point we wanted to mention. We are using a safety wing health insurance. Uh, we are also affiliates uh, with them as well. So we're going to leave a link in the description. It's basically digital nomads. Uh, travel and medical insurance all in one it's created by digital nomads for digital nomads so guys please go and check it out if you are interested um, it's very affordable as well we are paying around 40 dollars and that covers us basically and all it, around and it's san francisco based yeah, yeah. american based yeah. in 
environment for a little bit because we have a beautiful day today and we wanted to go on the beach and probably continue talking. Uh, another topic we wanted to mention is uh, is it a family friendly environment, family friendly community actually. And uh, at the moment we've got uh, plenty of kids running around. We are on the beach. Uh, we see many families, young families coming here. The babies. And yeah, all families are moving to Changu. They're renting a one two bedroom villa and uh, living. Cost of living is going to be mentioned in the end of this video. So make sure you stick around because we, we're going to be talking about how much all of that costs actually. And in the future we'll, we will do a separate video. 100%. About, about yeah, so we are currently tracking everything we are spending literally. E every penny. <laughs> every penny. So we will create separate video about uh, cost of living in depth in Bali for a couple or per single. Uh, we yeah. can talk about that as well. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for that as well. Let's get back to the topic. Uh, family friendly. What's the English like in here? What's Good. the safety like in here? All of those are absolutely great. Everyone speaks English. Yeah. Um, they will understand for sure. What do you want? Yeah, literally on every level. Uh, younger, young ones, uh, older ones as well. They all speak decent English, so no issue whatsoever. There is so many activities for our children and for our whole family as well. You can easily uh, pay a nanny to take care of your kid if you are busy at some part of the day. Working, yeah. Uh, I see many local uh, women taking care of the kids. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. that's the option for you as well. Yeah, and at the same time, you give a job to a local person, which is that's a very good very, point. Very good. That's very yeah. good point. That's the way. Uh, another way how to support local yeah. community and give back. And give back. Yeah. Many families are coming out in the evenings uh, on the beach playing, kids are running around so I don't see any reason why it would that not be a friendly environment for a family. Guys, we hope you enjoy today's video so far. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you do and let's continue. Uh, we wanted to talk also about uh, one of the most important things and that's uh, what do you do in your in your free time yeah, yeah as a digital nomad uh, is there anything to do outside of uh, restaurants and uh, cafes um, yes there is a lot, a lot. of things to do <laughs> yeah. probably the most of things to do out yeah. of uh, any other country we have visited so far yeah. yoga fitness surfing you can attend millions trillions of different classes dancing classes yeah, retreats retreats breathing classes meditation meditation as well yes yeah. uh, so there is so many things to do in any area of your life you want to get improved or improve you will definitely find somebody to help you with that um, and that's all in the changu for yeah. sure right guys uh, let's talk uh, real stuff now and we bet you cannot wait until we start talking about the prices finally how much does it cost uh, to live in uh, Changu or in Bali as a digital nomad in 2021 we're not gonna go uh, too depth. much too much uh, into depth about this topic because we said we're gonna uh, create separate video video about that so uh, I've got it written right now and we're gonna just cover a basic basic prices approximate yeah. price, prices we are paying so at the moment we are paying uh, for our accommodation uh, which is sort of a shared guest house I would say it's uh, something between the villa and the guest house uh, it's one bedroom and we do have a shared kitchen and it's like swimming a studio, pool. Yeah. yeah. So we do pay for that uh, 4 million Indonesian rupees, yeah. which is around 200 pounds or 230 dollars. Yeah. So uh, for a food, we do have a budget set for a 300,000 Indonesian rupees. For both. For both yeah. of us per day. So we are eating out uh, our lunch and we are eating out our dinner. dinner. Yeah. Uh, that makes it about 10 million a month. It's still really low, but we can fit yeah. easily. Yeah, um, we are fine. Two millions on the top of that, I would add uh, as uh, eating out in mm. some... Going out somewhere. Yeah, yeah, going out for a drink and so on. So extra two million uh, to that. Mm, gym membership. We have a pretty affordable and uh, pretty cheap gym mm. we are going to. So we uh, don't pay a monthly membership, but we pay one of 
pass. Yeah, so daily passes. Yeah. Uh, it costs us 50,000 Indonesian rupees for both of them. For, for both of us per day. That makes it 600,000 Indonesian rupees for both of us. Like an average, yeah. In average, yeah. yeah. Uh, now we rent in a scooter uh, per month. It costs us exactly 1 million Indonesian rupees. Yeah, but uh, you can get it cheaper. You can definitely yeah. get it cheaper. You can get it uh, for 800,000. So I'd say 1 million with uh, petrol as well, yeah. uh, easily. And petrol is very, very affordable. So you can cover a whole, whole scooter with the petrol for 1 million a month. Um, and the phones, uh, How much? we do pay 100,000 Indonesian rupees per month mm -hmm. for 28 yeah. days, yeah. and that's about uh, what 20 gig, 15 giga internet yeah. and unlimited calls and unlimited messages. So 200,000 Indonesian rupees per month, both of us. We did not speak about insurance we are paying because it's really up to you what kind of insurance are you choosing to have and we did not speak about a few other things which uh, you might might not have to pay for yeah, I like everything uh, on the top yeah miscellaneous yeah. and so on so uh, cosmetics and, and, and perfumes and uh, toothpaste and so and on and drapes and stuff and, yeah so yeah. we did not uh, mention that as well but we will cover it in the next video for sure yeah. so in total we came to number 14 million Indonesian rupees, which is around 770 British pounds, and that is around 1,000 uh, American dollars. So 1,000 American dollars is the price we are paying for two of us. For two of us it's living like a in a Bali. Ba basic living. Basic living, yeah, yeah. very basic living. Yeah. Um, I would probably add another 200 dollars. On to top. be on yeah. the top of that, to be a, on the safe side and yeah. to have absolutely everything covered. So $1,200 in total per both of us. So it's du doable. Very doable yeah. and very affordable. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, please uh, ask us. Uh, if you have a questions about visas, if you have a questions about uh, accommodation, where to find it and so on and so on. And things to do. Oh. We are here. Yeah, or you can message us on Instagram if you want. Yeah. yeah. Instagram or leave a comment or however Facebook, you feel, however you feel yeah. we will answer all of your questions the very last thing we wanted to mention is uh, weather in Bali and temperature uh, as you've seen during today's video we started uh, sunny so basically first half of the day uh, is sunny second half of the day it's not so is sunny <laughs> rainy cloudy but we are in the middle of a rainy season yeah. it's January so rainy season lasts uh, between uh, November and April yeah. and summer season or hot season uh, is April until basically October yeah. November around 30 degrees which makes it perfect for any digital nomad uh, amazing internet very affordable living very affordable accommodation friendly plenty people of, plenty of things to do friendly, friendly people. people yeah and uh, beach whatever you want you can get in a Changu so we highly recommend you if you are considering Changu it's definitely one of the best places to be if you are a digital nomad yeah. we hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe as well and we see you in the next video see you take care bye bye